learning how to transition from one to the other to the other so that when one of your when one of your solutions doesn't work, you don't just have to oh I give up, I have to do everything over that. You can try to immediately go into your next attack so that you can always be attacking, 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 you don't have to constantly quit, try something new. So uh, we went yesterday from Kilo Book to Triangle to Kimora. And we ended in a back triangle Kimura. And now we're going to basically start where we left off. So with the back triangle Kimura. So, and how to escape that. And we go from there into how we go to, and how he would go to his next submission. So we're just starting here. Come and take a break. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Kimura. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. So. The first thing I need to do is break this grip, which is going to be easiest if I just take my hand in here and start separating that. Now I need to lock up. Now I need to address the, uh, the body lock. So first thing I do is I hide my hand so that if he tries to go for the keyboard again, yeah. I mean, it's not impossible he's going to get it, but it's going to be hard. And that time I use, I take this hand under the leg, bring them over here, and open. Okay? And from here, I start going out. Okay? Just that. Okay? So, I'll just show that one more time. So, again, he's got his keyboard grip. I'm in danger. He can get attacked really quickly here. Go ahead. Yeah, that's enough. So, the first thing I need to do is break out my arm, hide the hand. Take this hand, go under on the calf of the, uh, of the arm. I'm not trying to open, I'm just trying to bring it to my legs. And that's where I bring my legs in, and then I open this triangle. Try to keep it close. Everything's got it. This is really powerful. He's a lot stronger than me, and you can tell from my voice, I'm not straining a lot. So you can really open the triangle here, triangle's open, and now I'm out. Okay? So, we're an odd number, so everyone does this with me. So, first transition. So, again, he does his escape. Yeah. And it's important, no, just stop for a second. It's important for me to understand where the point of no return is, okay? There, in this position, I can still fight to get my submission from this position still, okay? There comes a point where he's not going to be able to be submitted by the same tactic anymore. And I need to understand that. Here, that comes, go. Yeah, that comes here. The minute he's got this, I'm not getting him in a back triangle anymore, okay? And I need to be careful because if I sit here and do nothing, keep going, he is immediately going to pass me and take over top in the dominant position. And I don't want that. So what's important for me is to understand when that position comes and to start my transition before he can do an attack. In this case, we go through his, his escape. Yeah, he escapes, and the minute he gets here, I immediately start to transition into a pass of my own. Okay? So I don't wait for him to pass, I immediately go back to top position. And from here, I'm in a wonderful position, because my knee is here, his head is here, and up in the air. Grab the arm, and we go into a side triangle. Okay? So, important for the mechanics with the side triangle, okay? If your knee is on the back of his head, like this, okay? Try to hold out as long as you can, okay? Right. This is I mean, it's not pleasant, right? But you're not getting choked. No. You can hold that out for a while. Okay? You need your knee to be in front of his ear. Okay? If 
my knee is here. Yeah, that jump comes fast. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay? So that's your key when you're doing this, it's called the reverse triangle. It's very important where your knee is in relation to his body, okay? And notice how the rest of my body is placed, okay? I've got my hand here blocking this arm. I've got my shoulder and my ribs blocking his hips. Okay? And what's cool is his escape just gave me the knee placement I wanted. Yeah. Okay? And I also, when you're doing that, it's important you want all your weight on him. Okay? You, you don't want him to feel like he's doing nothing. It's important when you're my size, you need every advantage you can get. You're 90 maybe, kilos. 90 kilos? Yeah, I'm 73. <laughs> so if, if, I, if I'm not using my weight, it's, he could probably, you probably bench press me, I'm assuming, right? <laughs> I don't think that's a bench press. But, but I mean, you look like you probably could bench press 73 kilos. So you could probably, if I, if I was not that, trying to hinder him, he could probably just, move, just push me off. So I'm trying to use as many advantages as I can, and one of them is my body weight. Okay? So, yeah. So, same, same drill, we just cycle through, everyone does it with me. Downside to reverse triangle. A lot of people, unless you're someone like me who spends a lot of time working on the reverse triangle, I use the reverse triangle a lot in my game, it's kind of easy to block. The reverse triangle is a harder submission to get because the mechanics need to be right, and if you're not as practiced with them as, you, as some other people might be, you might have a hard time finishing it, or he has an easy time escaping it. So, that's a reverse triangle. Me. Reverse triangle, the, the uh, submission we just did. Yeah. Side control, side control. Yeah, yeah. just side control from you. Yeah, yeah. Because something I can do to counter this reverse triangle is I bring this shoulder to the ground.
Pretty easy transition, but it's it's very effective. 